by going to Tempus from the other tool, we were able to achieve better correlation. And because of the better correlation, we were able to push the PPA on uh, Innovas. And that uh, PPA improvements came because of the accuracy between Innovas and Tempus. What would you really look into when you're doing FinFET nodes is, uh, is to get answers as early as possible for the critical items, right? In FinFET nodes, these turnaround times and the fixes at a later stage are gonna be very challenging. So you need to have a tool flow, tool set, which gives you those answers accurately and as early as possible in the flow, so you can react better. The issues with uh, the Innovus and having another tool in the flow was iterations, mainly a lot of iterations and that cost us a lot of work. It was three months and manual ECOs which cost that. And by going to Tempus, we significantly cut down the iterations because Cadence took care of the correlation. In FinFed design, it's all about the physical uh, aspects of the design. Yeah, you could have a good design, but if you don't do the physical design properly, you might have a bad design at the end. So correlation between Innovus, Tempus and Qantas gives us that uh, edge, basically. So we were able to achieve a, a better PPA, push the envelope using this correlation uh, activity, basically. The two reasons we switched to Tempus was the uh, reduction of uh, iterations in uh, timing closure. We were, with the other tool, we were having a lot of iterations going from place and route to SDA. And when we moved to Tempus, we were able to reduce the uh, iterations significantly and reduce the time to tape out. And because there was tight correlation between the uh, Cadence Place and Route tool, Innovus, and Tempus, we were all to also be able to get better accuracy on, uh, on the uh, uh, timing closure. So these were the main reasons why we switched to Tempus. Well, we started using Tempus from 40 nanometer and we've used it in 40, 28 and 16. And uh, we are going into the next generation of FinFET with Tempus and we have enough confidence because of the previous three generations of tape outs we have had. So we are going into five nanometer with Tempus and we have enough confidence on the t timing closure aspect of it because of the history and we want to add uh, IR drop aware uh, timing and we also want to be able to report accurate power with Tempus and we are hoping to get these things uh, uh, ahead of the game because of the tight correlation with Innovus. Max Linear and Cadence have had a great relationship over the from when we started and I've been with Max Linear for uh, some time now and uh, Whenever I needed the critical support, whenever I needed something, even if it's Friday evening, I can rely on these guys, call them, even on weekends, to say, hey, I, am a, I have a crisis, can you help me out? And they always give me a, a quick temporary solution and they work on it and turn around fast and give me a permanent solution. And uh, that's put a lot of comfort in my supporting my design teams.